Have you received an email like this, where it tells you to type your reply above the line, but then you click reply in Gmail and it brings up your reply at the very bottom of the email? Tommy's had a few people ask for help with this problem in the past, so Tommy decided to make a video to explain what's actually happening here. Because the solution is a lot easier than you might expect. The short answer here is just reply to the email like normal. It's more about the confusing way Gmail replies are laid out than it is about needing to do something special. When you click the reply button to reply to an email in Gmail, it brings up a box below the original email for you to type your reply in. So at the moment, it looks like your reply is going to end up below the original email and way below this line up here. But that's actually just the way Gmail's interface structures things. If you look at the reply box here, you'll see there's these three dots down the bottom of the reply. And if you click them, you'll see all of the original email, including this line, is down below the reply you're about to type. So you actually don't need to change anything. You can just type your reply above this line and click send and you'll be all good. Basically, the email you received is all of this email up here, but the email you're sending is only what's within this box here. So you have the original email down at the bottom of it, and then the new thing you typed up here. The person that put this line in just wants to make sure that everything you type goes up here, and you don't come down in here and start typing things in here so that your response is hidden in their original message. They want to make sure you respond up here away from their original message. So to me, we'll delete this here because they do not want you to type here. And to me, we'll type a quick response up the top here above that line. And now once you've typed your response, we can click send and send that reply off. And when you click send, if you have conversation view turned on in Gmail, which a lot of people do, it will still look like you replied below that line because as we can see here, it's put to me as reply down the bottom here, which is below that line. But just remember what's up here is really irrelevant. This is the message you've sent. This is the email you've sent. And if you click the three dots here, that line is still down here. This is just what the original person sent to you. So your response is in fact above that line. Gmail messes with the interface like this to try and make it feel more like you're chatting in a messaging app rather than emailing. But by just typing a normal response and clicking send, you are in fact typing above this line. So there's really nothing special you need to do. And that's all there is to this video. So hopefully you found it helpful and Tamil see you in the next one.